Today we are opening Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, boss, uh, we only have Legend of Red Eyes Black Dragon. Legend of Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, yeah, it looks like we ordered the wrong packs. Yeah, they, it should be fine. It's basically the same. Let's just open those up. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video, and you guys saw we have Legend of Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yeah, uh, they ordered the wrong packs. I don't know what happened. We have, I think, like 15 or 16 of these. These are from Sauce TCG. We've opened two of his mystery packs before. You guys can go check those videos out. They're both pretty epic, so hopefully these will be equally as epic. We also have a very special, the Ultimate Ruxin Pack. It's a one of one. This is the only Ruxin Pack that's ever been made, so this is going to be pretty exciting to open up. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, a different dimension, Dragon Mirage, and the man eater bug all you have to do is like this video be subscribed let me know what you think about legend of red eyes black dragon packs and we have a note sauce tcg sent us a few things like ruxin it'll be great if you get some awesome pulls like last time but i'm a realistic guy so just in case you didn't get anything cool i included the ultimate ruxin pack one of one very nice so we will get something guaranteed you're guaranteed to pull a card that will beef up any meta deck and destroy enemies perfect i need that for ycs uh hartford coming up hold on to your seat bro have fun jesse sauce let's see what we can pull in here i think that's on the next page legend of red eyes mystery pack ratio one out of six contains a card worth eight dollars or more cool packs are randomly selected from a mixed pot so you aren't guaranteed to pull a eight dollars yeah of course okay we got a red eyes black dragon we've got the dark dragoon that'd be pretty cool the uh, black metal dragon and a golden ticket which is a hand-drawn fmr artwork he showed me this it looks really really cool i'll see if i can find the picture and pop it up and we have a lot of other chase cards like breaker so it's not all dragons this time it's just a bunch of other cool cards i cannot speak today all right so we're gonna save the one of one for last we have a ton of sauce tcg packs this time which is more than usual which is pretty exciting i am excited to open these up and see what we can get because we're looking for that red eyes i guess theoretically it's what we're looking for dragoon would be really cool that artwork thing the thing the guy drew was really awesome explosive we got the uh dwimmered glimmer the invoked cactus we got two rares in this one very nice and the M mayakashi metamorphosis inside what is it one hollow per pack the last ones were like one hollow one rare this is just one hollow which i don't think a lot of people really care about the rare that much anyway so it's no big deal okay next we have an umi from legend of blue eyes very cool Drytron Delta Altaeus. Look, look at the difference between these cards. So there's a new card, the Drytron. This comes from Genesis Impact, I think. And then we have a Legend of Blue Eyes pack, which I think this might even be a reprint, but look at the differences. The edge is like kind of blue on this one and it's gray on this one. It's so much different. And like things have changed so much since the old, old days, even on the reprints where they try to replicate the old day stuff. We got a gigabyte, very nice. The Fire Opal Head and here's our foil. Will we get something over $8? Ring of Defense. I can confidently say this is not over $8. Still really cool. Really nice. All right, next pack. The mystery pack. We have, oh, Checkmate. We're playing a little checkers today, not Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, that's from Dark Crisis. That's an old one. Maple Maiden. That's from Battles of Chaos. So from very old to very new. Very cool. Smoke Mosquito. The Majestus Invocation. Invocation. Very nice. All right, next pack. We have... Or next uh, card, I should say. Super rare, sub terror behemoth, Dragossery. So, so far we have pulled nothing. We should get two and a half foil or over $8 based on one out of six out of 15 packs. If that, you know, turns that the ratio turns out to be right. Because ratios don't mean that you're guaranteed. They just mean that it's an estimate of what's going to happen. So we got a Waboku. This is from Starter Deck Joey. We're just having some, we're starting off with a lot of old commons. Then we go to the newer commons, which is Speed Duel, Backup Squad, the Quacky Mirror Overload, and Rock Scales. Okay, it's the next one. Oh, a secret rare number 89, Diablos the Mind Hacker from Brothers of Legend. This is not an $8 card, but still pretty cool. We are starting pretty slow, but we have a long way to go. We also have a Ruxin one of one pack, so keep in mind uh, that will be at the end. By the way, if you guys do want to buy him, you can go check out his Instagram. Keep in mind, he showed us the ratios. So he showed where you can pull all that stuff. There's a limited amount of them. Armored Starfish, we got the Mischief of Gnomes. Oh, Ruxin Special, Jigabyte, we got the Magellanica. And the Chakra. All right, we got some Naruto going on here. The Number Hunters. Very cool. Man, there's a lot of packs in this one. Let's see what we can do. A lot of packs this time. So far, we haven't pulled anything, though. We got a Red Eyes Beach Chip. We got Book of Law. I think we started off with five packs. Then we went 10 last time. Now 15. So he's ramping up every time. Book of the Law. We got the Evil Twin Challenge. The Satellar Knight Capella. And 
Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. So this has to be one of the cool cards. I don't know if this actually is $8, though. So this might just be another cool card to get. But it's a Red Eyes card. So it's a Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. I always thought this was one of the coolest artworks. I remember this from back in the day. And I was like, wow, this card's really awesome. But it's just not very good. So really cool Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. I, I doubt that it makes it to the $8 threshold. But I could be wrong at this point. I haven't checked that card in a while. But it used to be very cheap. Because it's pretty easy to find being a starter deck you know, card. You can find the starter deck cards pretty easily. Especially Unlimited. Spell reproduction. We got the Explosion. We got the Shining Fierce Villa. I don't know what that was. Ghost Trick Festival and the Latency. All right. The Wi Fi is getting a little late. In. All right. Here we go. Next one. Next one. I believe. I believe we can pull something good. We've got a Mighty Guard. The Unkiyoi Punk. Oh, okay. We're not even going to try it. It's, it's a punk card. Another punk card. What are these from again? Grand Creators. Yeah, they're pretty new. Invoked Magellanica again for like the third or fourth time. We like Invoked, but that's a lot of this one. And Curry Volt. You'll love to see this guy. He's really cool. He's from Number Hunters, but he's not great, but still a really nice Curry Bow card. All right, guys. You know, if you if you were worried about stacking the packs for me because I'm making a YouTube video, you don't got to worry because so far we got nothing. Well, we got a Red Eyes Darkness, which is cool, but none of the big pulls. We got a Petrulia, the Tribe Drive, the Soul Sweeper. Oh, and a Serpent Knight. I said, maybe I spoke too soon. There's a Serpent Knight Dragon. We just pulled this in first edition the other day. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. First edition Magic Ruler opening. This, I don't even know what this is worth in Unlimited. It's a little bit bent, maybe. So it's probably, it's probably like, is that bent? I can't tell. What is that line? You guys see this? It's like a slight bend, very slight, and then it has a little nick at the top, so it's not like near mint or anything, but it's an original Magic Ruler copy. I don't think these get that expensive, but I could see it being $8. I'm not really sure, though. Still a really awesome pull that I'm happy about. We still got like six packs left, so we've pulled a couple of good cards. I still am not sure if we hit like the $8 threshold. I would assume Serpent Knight is one of them, but I'm not sure. Dark Gray, we got the Lap, 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 Well, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Soul Strike, I am struggling. The Detonate, very nice. That's nothing new. I struggle every single video to speak, which is kind of ironic since that's what I do for a living is speak. But, you know, you can edit, you know? You guys don't have to hear all of it. I don't know if you will or not. Kumutoko, Evil Twin. We got the Epsilon, the S-Force, Lapswell, and the Phantom Knights of Curse Javelin. Very cool. I don't know why I like doing this so much. It's probably a bad habit for trading cards. We're probably going to try and not do that on the expensive cards, but I started doing that. It's just very satisfying. The, the cardboard, like click is that the word i don't know ancient elf we've got a it always starts with an old common i guess that's the formula for these submarine tour ride we got the diplos herald of ultimateness and the a cold zone <laughs> equal the zone i don't think that i definitely know that's not an eight dollar one so we have three more packs it seems like we've hit maybe one hopefully we'll get one more to get closer to our ratio we have heartbeat lady two either way we have the ultimate ruxin pack coming after unpossessed junk blader doll monster and Elemental Hero Blade Edge. This is another cool one that's unlimited, I think. It's a starter deck card, so it's probably not very expensive. Very similar to the Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. It's not even a cover card, though, so it's, it used to be like 50 cents. But honestly, this is such a nostalgic artwork for me. I remember this card. It just looks awesome, does it not? I mean, it looks really, really cool. One of the last cards that I remember before I like actually got out of it. So two more packs. Let's see if these Sauce TCG packs will be epic or not. Oh, wait, we don't do a pack trick. Final attack orders. So far, pretty amazing. Okay, not amazing, but good. Gnomes with a skilled brown magician. Cool. The Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior. And the Basilisk Familiar of the Evil Eye. Okay, all right. Familiar of the Evil Eye, not great. Final pack. This is our final chance. Our final epic chance to pull something amazing. We have a Reaper of the Cards. Very cool from Legend of Blue Eyes. Perform a Path Friend Donkey, but it's not really the last chance because we got a one of one pack. With four hollows in it, apparently. Door, door, dot, not door, dot, oh, do, 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 swordsman. The Raid Raptor, Vanishing Lanius. And a Ritual Beast, Tamer, Lara. I have no idea if this is a good card. Cool. Okay. Secret Rare. We will take that. But that's not the end. The Ultimate Ruxin Pack. Four hollows. One Earth Shattering card. Wait, Earth Shattering? Is that referencing the card or is that just saying it's really cool? Like, mm, let's think. Earth Shattering. Uses Earthquake and Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know what that could be. Let's see, so four hollows, so it starts off with a Gizmak Okami, the Dreaded Deluge Dragoon. That's from Mega Pack 21. Kuribu, oh, is it gonna be Kuribu stuff? Very nice, Ultra Rare from Brothers of Legend. Sunvine Healer, another Ultra Rare from Ghost from the Past. Speaking of that, Ghost from the Past 2 coming out in like two weeks or something. It's gonna be insane. 
Cosmo Dark Lady. This card was worth something out of, what's that set? The Buster Blader set in 2016, but then it got a reprint. And finally, the Earth Shattering card. Okay, it's a ritual. It's a ritual. Okay, so it could be Relinquish. That's that's my first thought is Relinquish. It could be some sort of TP card. They had a lot of uh, ritual stuff. Is it a burger? Could be the Hungry Burger. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Here we go. It is the burger. <laughs> earth shattering. Why is it earth shattering? Burgers don't shatter the earth. I'm so confused. The Ruxin special pack. It's a one of one. We got a hungry burger. Where's the pequeño moth? Ruxin, Ruxin pack? No pequeño moth? We did get the burger, which is pretty nice. I like it. I like it. If you guys like those and you want to get some, check out his Instagram. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Emusa, Junior Barding, and Show, JT Cho, and David FJ. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.